In the graphics menu, there are a lot of very useful tools. One of the most frequently used is, of course, a scale bar, which you can draw by simply selecting the tool and then drawing it anywhere you would like on your image. In the button called More, you can adjust the font size for your scale bar, the font name, the style if it's available where you can make it uh, larger or smaller uh, and you can adjust the color for the scale bar in this menu and also the thickness of the scale bar in this drop down menu by clicking on the select button and selecting the element you just drew i can make the scale bar longer or shorter by dragging it left or right on this menu, you can see several options. There is an option to e either show the element or not show it to you. Um, there is an option to lock the element on its place. You can see what type of element it is, what is its ID number. And there is also a checkbox for measurement, M. And there is no measurement available for the scale bar, so I cannot activate this function. But if I draw a line, I can have immediately access to the measurement checkbox. This checkbox activates function which allows me to see what is the length of the line. This is very difficult to read. So now the line is 104.73 micrometers long and it's absolutely horizontal, so the tilt angle is zero. And if I draw in another one, if you want to erase any of your elements, you can click on the, you can select it and click on the trash bin. And if you click on it twice, uh, those, the software will offer you to erase all drawing elements simultaneously. You can also draw arrows, rectangles, and in this case, you not only get perimeter, but also the area in squared micrometers. It's a bit difficult to see because the font is so big. Okay, you can draw circles. And you can draw any shape by selecting this tool. Uh, and if you want to close it, you need to either bring two ends together and click on it. Or you can draw it, or you can draw it and then right click and the software will automatically find the shortest path between two ends. In the select drop-down menu, there are more tools available, and one of the most useful is called Palette, and it allows you to draw a scale bar for the color coding on your image. The color coding you select here in the dimensions by clicking on the arrow for the drop-down menu and currently it's set on gray, but I can change it to green. And you can see that the palette scale bar automatically changes, or I can go to lookup table menu and select a rainbow. And then it becomes quite easily understandable that uh, pixels with low intensities will be of blue color and pixels with highest intensities close to 250 will be red. If you want to draw several elements of the same nature on, on your picture or on several pictures, you can check in box keep tool and this will allow you to draw them without going back to the menu. If this checkbox is not selected, not checked in, I can draw only one line and then I need to activate the tool again to draw it again. The auto color checkbox colors elements into automatic colors of the preference of the software and it doesn't take into account your preferences from here. So if you want to make them all white you need to deselect this option. Whenever you select any kind of area with any of these tools, this button will become available, Cut Region. And when you click on it, you will get another image, a new file, which will contain only the selected region. 
For example, if I select a round region here and click on cut region, I will get a new file containing only this selected region. These values show you X and Y coordinates which correspond to the position of your element and you can change them to move your element very slowly or you can select your element and drag it around with a selection tool. These values show you the width and the height of your element. You can change your element by adjusting these values here. You can also type in any value here. Or again, you can use the selection tool to adjust your element more quickly.